my name is Isabella Green. Welcome to my channel. Today, in spirit of Halloween, I want to tell you a couple of real-life ghost stories, the encounters that I experienced through my work. But this video is not really about the work, but about these side effects that I personally find fascinating. And it also shows us how real things can get. So, a couple of stories about a couple of different client situations. So one of uh, my clients all the way from across the world reached out at some point and said that she was experiencing weirdness in her life after she spent some time in, um, in the household that she suspected had something strange going on as well. And then when she returned home, she uh, experienced additional elevated level of agitation and she got so angry and the mirrors started breaking in the house and she said that she just didn't feel like herself and then uh, the next morning she woke up and she had marks on her forehead and she sent me the picture of the marks they were uh, like scratches the elevated skin but there was no redness to them at all. So, you know, if you scratch yourself to the level that your skin gets elevated, there's there got to be a little bit of redness there. So I immediately ruled out that she scratched herself in her sleep because that did not look like normal scratches that you would get. If you scratch yourself that deeply, there's going to be some sort of uh, red color. But her skin was completely normal color and there were marks of scratches on her forehead and they only and they stayed elevated for a while and then for about five minutes she said and then they went away she took a picture sent it to me and so she reached out to me to take care of that and she reached out to a number of other people as well and so when we uh, finally had our session as soon as I connected to her as soon as I started zooming um, onto her energy field I saw that there was someone quite literally sitting at her feet. It looked like it was connected to her feet, but it wasn't in her body. It wasn't in her energy field. It was sitting at her feet. And um, it looked like a, uh, it was hard for me to tell the gender because, well, because of how old the spirit was, I think. But uh, the... I kind of assumed that that will be a female because it had like a zip black outfit, black lawn dress and uh, the head cover as well. And so I uh, started communicating with that spirit right away. And the spirit told me that, let's call her she, <laughs> um, that she's been a discarnate, which means a person who died but did not leave this plane. So that she's been a discarnate for 300 years because she did not want to go back into her incarnation cycle. And so she kept resisting and then she kept moving from one host to the next until she um, encountered my client. And so she said that she felt or knew that through my client she can receive help to be transitioned in a way that she wanted to be transitioned. So 300 year old spirit uh, at the feet of the client, visible as daylight. So I worked with the team, I worked with Archangel Michael, I worked with the entire uh, potential possibilities of where and how she could be transitioned so that she doesn't go into reincarnation cycle and so we transition that soul into a parallel different um, reality that she was saying that she came from originally or that she was more connected to originally and she wanted to go back there instead of back <laughs> into earth plane so that worked out but after that spirit was gone I noticed that there was another one and they very often come in more than one and sometimes in groups sometimes in uh, like there'll be a couple of spirits and so the second spirit that I observed right around that same space 
uh, once this big one was gone, there was another one that was left. And that was a young girl um, who was killed by her husband at the age of 18. And uh, she had that similar look to her almost, you know. She also had everything black on and, and the headdress. And, and she um, was just scared. She was just scared to go and she kind of she kind of got stuck. And so she was recent, uh, the recent unfortunate experience for that soul. And so we assisted that soul and she said, yeah, she was totally up for going into reincarnation cycle. So we transitioned her um, in that way. And uh, um, the, as far as I know, the strange experiences that were happening in the client's reality, they diminished. So that's one story. Uh, that story only generated these weird occurrences in the client's reality. But the next encounter uh, with a similar situation uh, was where I experienced um, strangeness in my own space. So here's the story. This family reached out to me. One of their daughters was having um, significant challenges, let's just say. This is not about the case of the client. This is about the encounter with the spirit. So one of the daughters was having challenges and uh, they kept reaching out to me for a session and then they would just kind of withdraw and disappear. And, and at some point we finally um, arranged for the session and uh, later they told me that every time my name or our session was mentioned in their household, things would start getting strange. Like they would get really dizzy. More than one person, both sisters, um, getting dizzy or an object start moving in the house. And so they would kind of pull back. Uh, but... Um, so we decided that, okay, we're going to go ahead and proceed with the session because the girl really needed help. And, uh, we arranged for the date of the session and about two days, two nights before the session, I woke up from choking terror and I really n never get nightmares. Um, so... I woke up in this bone chilling terror and as I opened my eyes right over me was a spirit and it did look like what we picture as a demonic spirit like the glowing eyes long pointy nails black colored um kind of cloud of of body and teeth really long and pointy <laughs> so and I don't watch horror movies and I you know so it's not that I uh, dreamed that up but as I opened my eyes it was in my room and it looked like it was about to put the nails under my ribs and I was like I don't think so what are you doing and he said or she whatever that it it said stay away from such and such and that was my client's name. And I said, out, cat, just, just get going. And, and so that got out of my space and I sat up and meditated, called in my um, guardians to make sure that it's all gone. But I wasn't really, once I woke up, I wasn't really all that scared anymore because I know I can speak to these beings and um, good thing I woke up just in time. So that was the moment when I knew for sure, like, now we definitely need to do this session for this client. And uh, so the day of the session came and I'm on email um, with the mother of the family. She's sending me information and stuff. And so right before I start, I light a candle and it was a nighttime session for the client because we figured it would be better that she's asleep while I do this. Um, so for me, it's nighttime too. It's dark. I light a candle and I want to look at that email that I just read from her mom, uh, because there were some images there. So I go to open that email again. I literally just looked at it like 10 minutes earlier. 
and it's not opening and then nothing is opening and then my computer freezes and then it says connection lost and the internet starts just doing that and I go oh okay so we're going all the way here <laughs> all right so I, I shut down the computer and uh, I turn off my lights except one little lamp on my table that um, is a dimmer kind of uh, has a dimmer and so I had it on the lowest setting like barely there and the candle and so I close the door into my healing room and I sit in my space and I'm getting ready to start and I'm preparing and calling in um, all of my support and, and everything and the door just goes <laughs> and it opens up all by itself and it's not like there's a wind all windows are closed and stuff and I look at it and it goes back and goes back and, and closes halfway again and the candle starts doing that starts flickering a lot and the lamp uh, starts making that like crickly kind of sound like that and um, starts going a little bit more and then a little bit less and a little bit more and I was like you know what you can do whatever you want to do I got to take care of you don't be scared uh, we are going to negotiate and help you so stop it whatever I close my eyes and all that is happening I close my eyes and off I go to do the session and uh, I found immediately as soon as I looked at her with my um, like in from my altered state perspective I saw I couldn't see her soul in her body at all I saw her father there the father who passed away uh, a few years prior and that's when her problems started really and uh, he was not up to playing ball with me at all he was um, he was refusing to talk to me he was refusing to negotiate with me I really had to stay on top of that because he was terrified he died in a really challenging state of being um, his life was not easy so he was not the nicest person let's just say and so he was saying um, that if I let go would there be punishment would I go to hell and uh, in parallel that's what the girl um, was saying in in real life too she was asking she was talking about hell and punishment and all that that incredible level of guilt and and um, so I started negotiating with him and I slowly got him to uh, accept and release and he wanted to be there because he was saying well as long as she's sick I can be with my wife because the mother was taking care of the daughter there and he was in, in that body and so um, again Archangel Michael assisted here to transition him into uh, reincarnation cycles he did go to reincarnation cycle he was asking would there be punishment in between we made sure that he went in in a way that bypassing so not into the lower realms uh, but into that space where he can come back and he was asking can I please come back in a way that it will be easier for me well no guarantees but at least so he let go and uh, we transition him and he spoke he said a few things and when I later was discussing this with the family they said that's exactly what he used to say okay and then so once he's gone ah, there I see that spirit that came to visit me uh, that same exact spirit and it's in her gut like tearing apart her gut space and that one was not easy either because I had to really work with it to find the way to um, move it into the space where it's going to be content enough not to um, return and not to work for the dark side any longer and all that so it's a lot of it's a lot of work there but um, the story is really about <laughs> things got real and both myself and the clients 
experienced like poltergeist like events in their homes and so here are the ghost stories for you uh, real real life ghost stories all right thank you for tuning in today if you want a session with me I don't specialize in that. Um, I do wonderful things, uh, wonderful other things for people in my work. But hey, you know what? This is a side effect and I know how to talk to spirits. So yeah, um, feel free to reach out to me for a session at isabellagreen.com. And thank you for following me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll bring you all kinds of fun information and educational information on my channel. And I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste.